Hey there, can I offer you an open relationship soap opera? I don't want it. You can have it. I'm kidding. I love the soap opera part, just not the open marriage part. 1984's Never Sleep Alone. <laughs> hey, I'm Jason. I work in this two-bit ravioli factory known as Barefoot and Independent. And this is our first remaster. We have taken our old PG version of Never Sleep Alone. And instead of just me doing this and then re-uploading it, we did an experiment. I recut the whole thing from the ground up, from DVD to 2K. And I'm kind of disappointed. I don't know how to do a screen recording, so watch me recording my screen. And you can see there's not a huge difference. I was expecting night and day. Maybe once it's all rendered and uploaded, you'll be able to tell more. However, it doesn't matter. This is Vinegar Syndrome. Amazing. 2K. Kemal Orulu from Turkey made this. This was his last film. He started in the late 60s, right up to 1984. He's a director, producer, film editor. He did all three of those jobs on this. But that's basically what he did on all his pictures. Blue Ecstasy in New York when she was bad, a lot of star-studded 35 millimeter pictures. This is literally one of the best looking films. I thought the DVD looked great, and now it just looks better. I mean, clearly it looks better. I was just, I don't know what I was expecting. I was expecting a mud puddle and a mural. Ken Gibb shot this, probably why it looks so good. We've done two of his films recently too, both in the last couple of months, Baby Cakes, in Blue Bayou, Mind Trips, he shot Mind Trips. This was a whopper, 94 minutes, 13 minutes. We got the triple X down to a PG, violence, gun violence, murder. It's all off screen. Those three things I just named, all off screen. But you hear it, trickery, backstabbing. But then we also have the Ickiness? I shouldn't say that. You're not allowed to kink shame anyone nowadays. Man, I've had that conversation like three times in the last month. I think you should be able to. What if that was my platform? I want to be able to kink shame people. I'm sorry. I know there's tons of people out there. There's a new name for it. I can't think of it. Ollie. Ollie something. Anyways, we got affairs galore. I kid, I kid. You do you. I'll do me. We'll coexist. I'll stand over here and ooze in my muck, okay? Best line in this movie. Let's let this slime ooze in his muck. And who do you think said that line? We can discuss that after the film, okay? A lot of big stars in this movie. Let's watch this. We'll talk about all them stars after the picture. <laughs> Mr. Foreman, have the members of the jury reached a verdict? Yes, Your Honor. 
Has the jury found the defendant, Lisa Alexander, guilty or not guilty? Guilty, Your Honor. Will the defendant, Lisa Alexander, please rise? No, I don't think this party's as good as the last one. Well, if it isn't, you just come home. Why don't you go check on Dan and Natalie while I finish getting dressed? Give in a half hour. Are they ready? Uh, yeah, just about. Uh, by the way, Diana already went to the party. She said she'd meet us there. So it's just me, you, and Natalie. Oh, okay. Well, how do I look? Uh, you, know, you look fine, you kidding? That ne necklace looks fantastic. What's wrong? Dan, it was harmless flirting. It was a lot more than that. So what's the big deal? That's not the point. What do you want me to do? Lisa, you're my wife. I love you very much. You know that. Is Lisa ready yet? Yeah, I think so. She's in the bathroom adding some finishing touches. It's all set. Unless I've read her completely wrong. Uh, just might add to the excitement. Diana, is that you? Yeah, come on. Hey. Hey, Diana. Come on, let's leave this slime to ooze in its muck. <laughs> See you at brunch, man. It's a date. What do you think? What? Lisa, what do you think? Oh, great. I hope you paid the premiums on the insurance. Cute. Don't worry about me. I still have plenty of life in me. I'm not that old yet. But I want some coffee. Had your number today. <laughs> Come on, let's play some more tennis now. No, I promised Lisa I'd take her out to dinner tonight. Keep them all happy. Hi, are you guys in the mood for a game of doubles? You mean in the mood for a game of doubles? Sure. No, I gotta, I, you know, I told you I have to, with that thing I have to do. Quick set. Good, I'll be your partner. Okay. See you on the court. I can't, I promised Lisa. Quick set, then we'll take him to my place. Now, what am I going to tell Lisa? I promised her. Cancel it. Well, yeah, maybe I can call her from your place, make some kind of excuse. You know? Yeah, call her. 
Hello, Dan? No, it's me, Natalie. I was wondering if Dan was there? No. No, he's not here. I gotta get ready. Dan's picking me up for dinner, and I don't want you to call here ever again. Goodbye. Lisa? 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 Who is it? Go away! There. Now calm down and talk to me. Okay, so I'm jealous. It's all right. I understand. I'm afraid. You torturing yourself. I know, I know, I know. I don't know how I got this far. It's been over a month now. It's what we wanted, and now we have to go through with it. Mark, I don't want to hurt him. I mean, I still love him. Lisa, we have to be together, and Dan has to know. I know, I know. I guess I'm just afraid. Afraid of what? Three weeks ago, it seemed so simple. Just live with him and see you. I can't do that anymore. I have to be with you all the time. You will be. And eventually, when he understands, you realize that's what he wanted all along. I hope you're right, Mark. I really hope you're right. I know I'm right. For all of us. I signed that account you brought in, plus a couple of others. Also, we have two large accounts that uh, I think they're going to sign. How come I didn't hear about them? I'm telling you now. Wait a minute. I'm supposed to be the one who brings in new accounts. Things have changed. You've been out of touch for the last couple of weeks. And what does that mean? I want you to do me a favor, partner. Come on. What's going on? I want you to take Natalie off my hands. In fact, I want you to marry her. See, Natalie's not my type. I think you and her would make a good couple. Forget it. Why should I marry her? Mark, we've got a good business here. It's going to get bigger. But what we can't have for the future is dead weight. Dead weight? I've got the clients, and they want me. You know, my knowledge, expertise, solid business sense. The company just doesn't need the services of a smiling, fun-loving ex-college quarterback to stay alive. Now, you marry Natalie, and I'll see that you stay in. Otherwise... Otherwise... Otherwise, this means that this is blackmail, and forget it. But I'll see to it that the best job you can get is some salesman in some two-bit ravioli factory. Now, what's it going to be? I guess you know. Yeah, I think I do. I know you pretty well. Are you going to be the best man? My pleasure, partner. Hello, stranger. Nice to see you. I have to talk to you, Dan. Oh, I'm always available for a little chat with my wife. Uh, this is more than just a chat. Serious, huh? I'm all ears. I'm leaving you, Dan. I've met someone else. Someone I love. Oh. Who can that be? Hey, uh, let me get you a drink. This isn't a joke. I'm leaving you. Well, look, you had an affair with Mark, okay? Well, that's over. Let's go back to being ourselves. No, I'm moving in with Mark, Dan. Mark is with Natalie right now. Right across the hall. I arranged it. They're going to be married. Now unpack this stuff and let's have a drink. We'll make it. What do you mean? You're lying. Huh? Well, the key's in the drawer. Why don't you go see for yourself? They're next door. I don't believe you. Go ahead, see, see, see for yourself. Thank you. 
Will the defendant, Lisa Alexander, please rise? The jury has found you guilty as charged. You are to be remanded to the woman's house of detention pending sentence. Court dismissed. So what'd you think of that? Did you like it? Didn't it look good? Tina Marie, John Leslie. That's our main couple. Both of them in Firestorm, which I'm editing right now. John Leslie is John Leslie. We all know him. We talk about him a lot. He's amazing. Actor, director, producer. Directed 154 movies. A lot of times with actors, you'll be like, oh yeah, he directed some pictures. And it would be like impressive if you said 12. You know, oh, wow, he made 12 movies. I mean, I know him as an actor. That's pretty impressive. 154, the beautiful Tina Marie, Firestorm, and Up and Coming. Two ones we're editing right now. It's weird to see one lady on my timeline three times. It happens, but I guess it's at least in my brain slightly noteworthy. Writer, actor, Holly does Hollywood. You ever seen that? She wrote it. Their neighbors are Joanna Storm and Honey Wilder. This whole thing's about Joanna Storm. You know what's crazy? Not even in our version. She's naughty on the screen. She's like the catalyst. From and I guess I guess in our cut, you might think like it's Honey and Joey as like the moving and shaking, matchmaking, trouble people. Officially, Honey Wilder is the matchmaking, matchmaking, matchmaking mover shaker. Her roommate is Joanna Storm. Joey Silvera is John's friend, brought into the mix, they're co-workers, they're co-sharers of multiple girlfriends, wives, friends, tennis players. Joey Silvera, also an actor, director, producer, writer, cinematographer. He's got more job titles. And as John B. Let me see the notes. 426. If you thought 154 was good. 426. I raise you. That's all that's in the clean cut. The clean 13 minute cut. Except for Arbola. Robert Kerman, the amazing star of numerous cult films and adult films. He is not even in the credits. He's the judge. You hear the voice in our opener, in our closer. Go listen again. You'll recognize it. That's our bold. Not just Joanna Storm, MIA, not pictured. Tigger, Alan Adrian. Sharon Kane, Sharon Mitchell, but you can get this 2K from Vinegar Syndrome or the other tab that I can't ever pronounce. All right, so that's it for this week. Sundays are supposed to be brand new ones. I'm sorry, I've been backed up, I'm backed up. I apologize, next Sunday will be a brand new one. We might even do a trip to Oz in between Sunday and Sunday. That's what I'm hoping for. This was a big undertaking. And in that undertaking, it took up a bunch of my time. It's our first remastered one. So it gets the coveted Sunday spot. Hope you're okay with that. Cause that's what it is. Thanks for watching. Don't subscribe, don't like, don't share. Just watch. Two-bit ravioli factor. <laughs> See ya.